This is like death level chili. And you can see how the catfish curls up. And as it's bubbling, you can smell the galangal and the chili. And the food in Jogjakarta is famous for being sweet, but I think this is definitely gonna be real spicy. All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We just flew into Jogjakarta here, Indonesia, Central Java, world famous Javanese street food. And I am so pumped, because today we're bringing you for the ultimate Javanese Jogjakarta street food adventure. Let's check it out. If you love spicy food, get ready, because today we're bringing you in for the world famous death level spicy stewed catfish and going for five insanely delicious street food joints in Jogjakarta, one of Indonesia's most famous food cities in central Java. Let's eat. This is it right here, guys. The reason why we flew into Jogjakarta, the good egg. Been really excited to try this. Hi. Oh, any apa? Ayam. Ayam. Good egg. Yeah. Wow, look at this, guys. This is the good egg. Jogjakarta. Yeah, good egg, Lindu. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So look at this, guys. We have the ultimate set of good egg here, which is chicken and a coconut stew and a young jackfruit. This is just incredible. Look at this, guys. Right on the banana leaf. Ayam. Okay, and tempeh. Oh, and this is the tempeh. The soybean and the young jackfruit stew with palm sugar. Oh, and it's beautiful. Oh, sayap. Okay. Chicken ayam. Yeah. Oh, and it smells so sweet. Oh, wow. This is the cow skin sambal. Oh, with tons of chili. Beautiful. Terima kasih. Beautiful. Sit here? Yeah. Okay. And here it is, guys. This is just pure beauty. The goo egg. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. That is the fatty krechek. Cow skin in a sambal. Look at all those chilies. That is intense. And then we've got the ayam, the chicken, in the ultimate coconut, palm sugar, galangal, candle nut stew. And then it's served with a huge chunk of tempeh, soybean product and the ultimate young jackfruit, unripe jackfruit stew. And this all smells so sweet. We're just gonna take a bit of that kretje and a bit of that young jackfruit stew. It smells so sweet. This is the city of Gudeg here. And we're just gonna scoop it down. Mmm! Oh! Mantap! Mantap! Wow! That is sweet! It almost tastes like a, a, it tastes like a palm sugar jackfruit with coconut and this fatty, spicy cow's skin in a sambal. Look at all the chili. You can just pile it on. <laughs> Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Pedas. Pedas. Oh. Here I make a seed. Man top. Man top. Very good. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Wow, mantap. <laughs> this is, that was just amazing, guys. Terima kasih. And after finishing that incredible Javanese specialty, we made our way out deep into the countryside to try a super famous death level catfish dish made by a 90 year old granny who's still peeling garlic. And here we are, guys. We just drove out to the countryside, beautiful Indonesian countryside outside Jogjakarta. We are going for the mango lele, the famous catfish stew at a joint right up here that's been open for so many years, run by a local granny. Just up here, let's check it out. Oh, mango lele. Wow. Look at this. Oh, and we're cooking with coconut shells here over the flame. We must be grilling the catfish. Oh, wow. Right back here. Hey. Whoa. Look at this. Oh. The mango. Yeah. The mango. <laughs> the grilled catfish. Mant up. Mant up. Look at this, guys. Catfish grilled over the coconut shells. And just look at this. This is the mango. Mango. The catfish. We've got these catfish on a stick here. So this goes over the coal 
which is cooked with coconut shell. And this joint is run by a local granny, Ba Marto, who's been running this joint for years. And we're gonna go in and see how it's made. Wow. Yeah. Hi, Ba Marto. Ba Marto. Ba Marto. Ba Marto. Yeah. Hi, terme kasi. <laughs> and just look at this guys, we just came into the most gorgeous, traditional, old style kitchen in Jogjakarta, out in the outskirts here. We're peeling garlic here with Ba Marto, we've got fresh chilies, and then here we've got some of the most gorgeous stews. Oh and look at this here, that is a tempeh and krecek and chili stew. So we've got tempeh cow skin crackers and tempeh, oh tofu cakes and then tons of chili, wow. And there it is guys, the ultimate mango lele, spicy catfish stew. They take the grilled catfish and put it into that intense sambali, galangal infused, chili infused stew, wow. And as it's bubbling, you can smell the galangal and the chili. And the food in Jogjakarta is famous for being sweet, but I think this is definitely gonna be real spicy. That is unlike anything in the world. Candle nut, galangal, garlic. Oh, tons of sambal and chili, and those delicious looking catfish right off the grill. For you. Makasi. Wow, that's the mango lele. Look at that. Look at all those chilies and garlic. You can smell the galangal. Oh, and this is the krecek. The krecek. Okay, that's the cow skin cracker. Tere makasi. Oh, and the. Oh, the chicken stew. The ayam. 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 Oh, with a beautiful chunks of chicken. There's chicken head and chicken feet in there. Tere makasi. Beautiful. And here we are, guys. We got the beautiful, unbelievably potent catfish stew. This is what we came here for. The spicy catfish stew. You can see it's full of chili and garlic and onion and galangal. So smoky. And that catfish just looks incredibly soft and succulent and smoky right off the grill, cooked with coconut husks. And then we've also got it with gudag. So what we just had earlier, we've got the chicken. We've got that delicious chicken stew with coconut milk. We've got spicy and soft and fatty beef skin crackers. And then we've also got papaya leaves with a young jackfruit stew, unbelievable. But what we came here for is this spicy, spicy catfish, so spicy. Mm. <clears throat> oh. oh, wow, that is really spicy. Oh, and I'm just crying. I think it's from the kitchen combined with the chili. I don't know which one, but that is intensely, and intensely spicy. This is the firecracker dish. That is like an explosion of spice in your mouth. I've had a few minutes to cool down after that first bite now, and it's just all coming together so nicely now. Spicy and sweet with these painfully satisfying bites of smoky, slightly sweet catfish. Mm. <laughs> oh, it burns. It pure burns. It's so spicy. This is like death level chili. <clears throat> You'll burn in pure bliss. Tere makasi. Night wait. Tere makasi. Bye, Marto. Bye, Marto. Night wait. Tere makasi. Bye bye. That was incredible, guys. And next up, before going to another death level spicy duck, we're bringing you to a famous satay stall that also serves up a soup with goat head and intestine meat that is incredibly milky and super smooth. Awesome guys, next up we are gonna try famous Indonesian satay with a thick intestine goat stew. Oh wow, look at this. Hi boo. Hey, wow, satay. Yeah. Look at this, guys. We've got delicious satay. Oh, and here we go, guys. Those are on metal sticks here. They're gonna be cooked perfectly, and you can see she's just dripping it into that delicious garlic and onion and cucumber marinade. And then she's gonna oh, season it with salt and pepper and put it right over the coals. Oh, and here we go. We're gonna make that gulai. So we've got that intestine that's been pre-boiled. 
the goat intestine, and you can actually see the tripe, the lung. Oh, wow. That's intense, and you can see the head in the background. We're just gonna chop that up. Oh, and that's creamy, delicious goat intestine delight. And you get a bonus lung chunk in there as well. <laughs> Beautiful. And this is just amazing, the goat kebab. The satay in Indonesia, in Yogyakarta, yeah. at Pak Tong. Oh, and we're just gonna make that gulai now. Look at that, that's that turmeric and galangal kaffir lime right into the wok, and we're gonna boil those intestines right in there. And there it is, look at that. The intestine and tripe and lung combo. The gulai. And you can see those intestines are just creamy looking. And here we are guys, look at those. And that is saturated in that gulai, creamy coconut milk, creamy aromatic kaffir lime, bay leaves, garlic, galangal stew. And the same stew was boiled with these intestines, lungs, and tripe. Mmm! Oh wow! Those kebabs are insanely creamy, the flesh almost tastes like milky coconut with turmeric and salt and pepper. And you can taste that gulai on those kebabs, but we really gotta try it with the intestine and the tripe combo. Mmm. 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 Oh wow, that is an incredible combo between squishy and springy, those soft intestines with that springy tripe, and then that soup, that stock. It's actually slightly sweet with a bit of garlic, kaffir lime, galangal hit. And next up, we're driving back out into the countryside to bring you to a famous death level spicy duck. Awesome guys, and just look at this beautiful, peaceful village life in Indonesia. We just drove 30 minutes outside of Yogyakarta to come to try the Entog Slenget, the super spicy duck stew. Look at this, Entog Slenget, Super pedas, super painful, spicy. Let's go check it out. Oh. Hi, boss. Yeah. Oh, look at this. So this is the entog. Yeah. Entog. So this is the duck meat. Yeah. So we've got a delicious, soft, tender duck meat stewed in herbal spices, super tender. And we're gonna put tons of super pedas okay. chili inside there. Oh, and then in goes the chili. And this is the secret right here the super pedas secret sambal in a mortar and pestle, hand ground, tons of chilies. And what he does is he adds it in to this entong so I can get this duck stew based on how spicy you want it. So we just ordered super pedas, ultra spicy, and that is gonna be full on flavor packed goodness. Super pedas, David Makassi. Oh, look at that. That's the ultra spicy duck stew. Terry Makassi. And the real joy here is just gonna be pouring that Entog Slanket. Oh, look at that. Just douse it in chili. Oh, yeah. And there it is. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, it's like a sweet, palm sugary, spicy. Oh, that is definitely spicy. Intensely seasoned with herbal spices and soft rice and cooling cucumber duck stew. You can feel it going down your throat like a painful burning, <laughs> oh, satisfaction. And for our final street snack, we're bringing you to a famous Indonesian street dessert in Yogyakarta. And next up guys, we're gonna finish off the day with a delicious Yogyakartan dessert. Awesome. Hi. Hi. Bye. Wow, abaka bear. Wow, this is the ronde. So we're gonna get a delicious ronde, local ginger dessert. Can I get uh, satu? Satu ronde. Satu ronde. Yeah, satu. Awesome. Satu, please. So look at this, guys. Beautiful local ginger dessert. So we're gonna take a bowl and we're gonna. Oh, this is the sugar palm fruit. Oh. Man top, delicious. And then we've got these sticky rice balls here with peanuts on the inside. And he's gonna load those up in the bowl. So we've got that jelly-like sugar palm fruit with sticky rice balls in a super sweet syrup. And then here is the ultra famous 
spicy, gingery, sweet, syrupy soup. And we're just gonna top it with some delicious bread chunks and peanuts. Terimakasi. Wow, and there it is. Terimakasi. Wow. <laughs> There make us see. Wow. And here it is, guys. <laughs> wow. The delicious local Indonesian dessert. Tasty. Mantap. Mantap. Okay. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, wow. Jablum. Mmm. Mantap. Mantap. It's sweet and gingery. <laughs> wow. There make us see. That is amazing, guys. And people are so friendly here. Gingery, the ginger just hits your throat. It's kind of spicy. And that sugar palm is jelly-like. So it's kind of fruity and spicy from ginger and nutty from those roast peanuts. You can taste the roasted, smoky peanut flavor. Man top, man top. And this is just pure food heaven here in Jogjakarta. Terima kasih. Make sure to leave me a comment and click that subscribe and little bell notification button as well so you don't miss any of these videos. And thank you so much for watching. That was the best day ever.